So, what's up? Thanks for tuning in today. We are going to discuss something very, very special, and I'm going to talk about TOI561. So, let's get right at it. What is TOI? So, as the numbers discover, 10 billion year old multi planet system, and that's really a very special and historically, yeah. Uh, Thing that the, the astronomers found right there that's really a breakthrough so let's get right into it astronomers using nasa's transit exoplanet survey satellite and the high resolution hl spectrometer on the keck eye telescope at the wm keck apps observatory have discovered a system with three transiting exoplanets transiting exoplanet sorry including an ultra short period super earth around toi 561 one of the oldest stars in our milky way galaxy and in the background you also just saw or you will see a photo of an artist radiation of the toi 561 planetary system toi 561 is a bright star located 280 light uh, 280.5 light years away in the constellation of sextants the star is approximately 10 billion years old and has a mass and size about 80% that of the Sun. Otherwise known as TYC2431528-1, it belongs to a rare population of stars called the galactic dis thick disk stars. Stars in this region are chemically distinct with fewer heavy elements such as iron or magnesium that are associated with planet buildings at the University of Hawaii postdoctoral researcher Lauren Weiss and colleagues. Um, TOI-561 hosts at least three small transiting planets named TOI-561b, C and D and is one of the oldest most metal poor planetary systems discovered yet in the Milky Way. The inner planet TOI-561b is a so-called super earth with an orbital period of only 0.44 days for every day you are on earth this planet orbits its star twice said co-author dr steve and kane a planetary astrophysics at the university of california riverside part of the reason for the short orbit is the planet's proximity to its star which also creates incredible heat it estimated average surface temperature is over 1727 degrees Celsius, 2000 degrees Kelvin. Much too toasty to host life as we know it today, though it may once have been possible. DOI 561b has a mass and a radius of 3.2 and 1.45 times of the Earth, and that's an density sorry of 5.5 grams per cubic centimeters consistent with a rocky composition we calculated its destiny to be the same as our planet dr kane said this is surprising because you expected the destiny to be higher this is consistent with the notion that the planet is extremely old toi 561b is one of the oldest rocky planets yet discovered and that's really crazy why said its existence shows that the universe has been forming rocky planets almost since its inception 14 billion years ago. The two outer planets COI 561c and d have masses of 7 and 3 times that of the Earth, radius of 2.9 and 2.3 Earth radius respectively. The orbit their host star once every 10.8 and 16.3 days. Thanks to the bright host star, the multi-planet system is unable, un unable Two atmospheric follow-up with space space telescopes. The astronomer said TI 561b is expected to be a good eclipse target, while planets TI 561c and D are promising targets for transmission spectroscopy. Comparative atmospheric properties for the planets in this very metal poor system will provide a unique test for planet formation scenarios. The discovery is reported in a paper in the astronomical journal so guys um, that would be everything i had to discuss today this is very um very crazy and very special also um just just to say it again toi 561b is a super earth exoplanet that orbits a g-type star it mass is 1.59 Earths. It takes 0 0.4 days to complete one orbit of its star and is 0 
astronomical unit from its star. One astronomical unit is the distance from the Sun to the Earth. Its discovery was announced in 2020. Planet type Super Earth, discovery date 2020, mass 1.59 Earths, planet radius 1.4. 1.423 times of the Earth, orbital radius 0 0.01055 astronomical units, orbital period 0 0.4 days, detection method transit and eccentricity 0, 0.0. So that would be everything. Um, I hope this, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, thanks for listening in today's video and we'll see you soon again.